Aloha! This is Arlen Nagata from HawaiiWP.com with today's WordPress tip. Hey, we all love using the visual editor to style our posts. It makes it really easy. I tell my clients, if you can use Microsoft Word, you can use WordPress because this just looks like a very, very stripped down version of Microsoft Word. And if you needed more options and just bold italic bullet points and these things, you want to hit the kitchen sink. And you get a few more things. Now, when I think of the kitchen sink, I think of like every option imaginable. But that's not what the kitchen sink is. You get this nice drop down to change basically the sizing and headings for some of your your items. You can now have underlines, change the font color, uh, a few really useful things. But this is by no means the kitchen sink. So today I want to show you how to add a plugin to enable you to style your posts a little bit more and to make the visual editor in WordPress a little bit more like Microsoft Word. Okay, so come over here to plugins with me and go to install plugins. And we're going to install a plugin called Ultimate Tiny MCE. And actually, I've already installed this and activated it. But if you were going to look for this, you would come up here to Add New. And you would just type in this box Ultimate tiny mce for those of you who want a wordpress trivia tiny mce is actually the real name for that visual editor go figure who to who to thought well just search for this plugin you'll find if you've typed in everything correctly it's the first one listed ultimate tiny mce it has a five star rating so it's pretty awesome and when you click on details you'll see that the highest WordPress version that it's compatible with is the current version 3.3.1 and this was last updated six days ago okay so this is a very current plugin it's been downloaded 84,000 times and yet it still has a five star rating. So all evidences point to a very good plugin that you're going to love. Okay, well, I've already got it installed, so I can't install it. If you don't have it yet, you can just click install now and confirm that you want to install it. And after it's installed, you just activate it and it's good to go. But if I look at a new post, hey, nothing's changed. I don't have any more options. This isn't ultimate. Well, that's because we haven't changed any of the settings. So come down here to settings and go to ultimate tiny MCE. Here we go. Font select. That's awesome. Font size. Another awesome. Thing. you got some colors oh my goodness horizontal roll box you you don't know how many times I have installed a plugin just to enable horizontal rules for my clients oh so awesome uh, you want some more Microsoft Word features how about subscript and superscript okay there are many many options here I'm just enabling a few of my favorites uh, maybe you want some more options to insert a table, emoticons, all kinds of stuff here. I can't go through <laughs> even half of these, but some of the really cool things, this advanced image box, try that one out in your own spare time. Use this uh, YouTube video box and the map editor box. Those are those are all really awesome. Okay, and I'm going to save. 
there's some advanced features down here too that I, I'm not going to have time to look at. Okay, so now if I create a new post, now I have more things that are resembling the kitchen sink or Microsoft Word. Okay, but since I don't have any content, I'm going to go to a post that I've uh, pre-filled with some content. This is just some uh, lorem ipsum content I got from HTML ipsum. This is kind of neat because it gives you different header levels, different bullets. Uh, this is probably a block quote or something. Here's a H3 unordered list. You know, all kinds of stuff that you might want to see. Okay, well, now that I've got all this, if I preview, you know, you get basically what you see is what you get there. Right, but what if I want this heading, this H1, to be a different font? Well, let's just choose the font family and change this to Comic Sans. What if I want this here to be a little bit bigger? Well, let's just change the font size. Let's make it noticeable, 28 points. And you'll notice nothing changed. But if you put your cursor on there, you'll see when the cursor is here, the font size is 28. But when you put it somewhere else, there is no font size. Well, some changes will only be visible when you preview. So previewing it, yep, that's in Comic Sans there. And this is 28 points. So some changes you'll be able to see and some you won't. Just keep that in mind as you're kind of formatting here. Okay, and of course, here's my favorite, the horizontal rule. How long do I want it to be? Uh, my default is usually 90% and maybe a height of two. Insert that. There you go. Oh my gosh, I love this plugin. All right, now I'm gonna be able to insert a table Plenty of options here. Wonderful. Little emoticons. And remember these YouTube map plugin, those are really awesome. So check those out on your own time. Okay. Well, I hope this WordPress tip is going to help you create even more beautiful content. Now, I can't help you with the writing part at least in this video, but hopefully this has helped you so when you've got your content written, you can pretty it up. And of course, as with all plugins that are free, I would suggest if you like this plugin, you come over here and donate to the plugin author. I am not the plugin author and I do not make anything off of this plug for him but if you like his plugin please support him I think this is a, a great thing and I love to donate to the authors when I use their plugins okay yes 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 we all like to get something for nothing but please donate and support the community however if you want something for nothing I will set up your next WordPress website for nothing. Go over to my website, hawaiiwp.com, and click on free WordPress setup, and I'll let you know how it all works. But I've committed to get people started on WordPress, so I will install WordPress, get it all set up, and install the theme of your choosing. Get your site all set and ready to go. And if you're happy with that, great. Uh, if you wanna hire me for further customizations and improvements for your sites, I'm your man. Well, that's it for today. Aloha.